and welcome to another Mr. Smith history. This one is focusing on the Norman and the later medieval law enforcement, following on from the Anglo-Saxon law enforcement in the previous video, which was a while back, I must admit. Uh, so following um, 1066, um, the Normans have invaded, obviously. William has took control. Um, and what he does is he, he maintains and keeps a lot of the laws um, and uh, enforcement methods that the Anglo-Saxons had. So let's have a look at some of the things that stayed the same and some of the things that changed from the Anglo-Saxon period to the Norman period. So in terms of continuity, the Normans and William retained things such as the hue and cry and tithings. If you don't know what they are, go and look at the Anglo-Saxon video. So they were kept in place. And they also kept um, in the trial by ordeal, um, the trial by hot iron, hot water, and all that type of thing, which was an Anglo-Saxon method of determining innocence or guilt. Um, on top of this, uh, in terms of a change, he did introduce a Norman method called trial by combat. Uh, trial by combat was when um, people had to fight each other to determine Ill, uh, guilt or innocence. Uh, so this was something that the Normans brought in. It wasn't something that the Anglo-Saxons had. Also in terms of change um, of law enforcement, we've got foresters. Foresters were needed because William had introduced forest laws, um, laws preventing hunting and poaching, etc. And he needed people to patrol and enforce these laws within, within his forests. Um, so these came in the form of foresters. So moving on to the latter medieval period, and law enforcement changes, particularly during the 13th and 14th centuries, as towns begin to grow. This meant there was an increase in crime, and using methods such as the hue, hue and cry and tithing it was becoming less and less practical, so the authorities became more and more involved in helping prevent crime. Oh yeah! So one method brought in to try and improve law enforcement was that of the parish constable. The parish constable was a local person who was nominated by the community, he was picked by the community. Um, it was unpaid, so he didn't get any money for it. Um, and constables did their usual jobs as well, so whatever job you did in the daytime, you, need, you needed to continue doing. Um, and they held the post for a year. So let's have a look and see what changed and what stayed the same. Changed continuity between Anglo-Saxon law enforcement and the Normans and the latter um, later Middle Ages. When looking at change, we've got the introduction of some new roles. We've got the parish constable, as we mentioned earlier. There was also the night watchman, very similar in, um, in role, but obviously working at night. Um, and one of a major change that happened is in 1215, the trials, trial by ordeal and trial by combat, are abolished. In terms of continuity, um, hue, hue and cry and tithings were still used, uh, but to a lesser effect. Um, as were the trials, so although they were abolished, the trial by ordeals and the uh, trial by combat were, were used in, still in some com uh, communities in, in, in informal capacity. There were main, major changes as well in terms of the role of uh, officials who were appointed by the government. For example, knights were appointed as peacekeepers. Um, Richard I put these in charge of unruly areas from around 1195. And in 1327, Edward II extended this system to all areas. In 1361, you've got the Justices of the Peace Act. Um, so the Justice of the Peace role was a keeper of peace. Um, and he had the power to hear minor crimes in small courts four times a year. So they were still um, put in, they were still given their position by a monarch, and they were mostly local lords. And the sheriff, the role of the sheriff increased, and so this has expanded. And he was now, ex um, it was expected that the sheriff would be hunting down, uh, tracking down criminals if their if the hue and cry hadn't worked. Um, and later on, from twelve eighty five. He could form what was called posses, um, which about you know, which is a group of men, usually local men, um, and they would go out and help chase and, and catch criminals. 
So that brings us to the end of law enforcement in the Norman and later Middle Ages. Um, if you um, want to catch up on the Anglo-Saxon one prior to this, you can follow that in the link. There'll be a playlist that's getting built for it as well, which will in gradually include other um, law enforcement eras, so to speak. And next one will be about um, about the church, I believe. All right, so uh, thank you for listening. Bye. Thank you.